Hello Internet and welcome back to another episode of Scientific Tuesdays. Sometimes when you're working on your computer, doing schoolwork, or even at the office, you just need a little bit more light. Sure, you can go grab a desk lamp and hope you've got a nice outlet available, or you can take it to the next level. You can build your own USB illuminator. This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Thrillist. The USB Illuminator starts off pretty simple. Grab a couple blank discs that you don't need anymore, or use your favorite CD or DVD. I grabbed my favorite DVD, but it was too hot for this video. So once you have the discs that you want to use, go ahead and grab a hot glue gun or a bonding agent and form a lampshade-like structure. This is going to be our reflection panel. You can use more CDs or DVDs if you want. I found three to make the perfect cone shape. Now I'm going to grab a magnifying glass so that when we apply a light source we get a little bit more refractive oomph. This is obviously optional, but if you have one laying around that you don't need anymore, go ahead and glue it on in there. And now we've got the fun part. I got my hands on a 3.5 volt, super bright LED and also a 68 ohm resistor. Don't worry, you can pick these up for pennies on the dollar at your electronics store. Why a resistor? Well, they maintain a steady current in electronic devices by limiting it to a known safe value. Let me break that down if you're an electronics noob. Let's say that you had an LED that needed three volts to operate, but all you had was a 12 volt battery to hook it up to. If we don't drop the incoming voltage level to the LED, it's gonna burn out almost immediately. In fact, it's almost kind of like throwing it in the microwave. So by using a resistor, we can take the incoming power and get it down to a safe level. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and solder the resistor up to the anode of the LED. Now in most cases, the anode is the longer wire sticking out of the LED. And finally, the USB cable. If you have any broken devices that have a USB cable, go ahead and grab it, cut it up, and get these two wires to pop out. There's always going to be four inside, but you don't need the middle two as they're only for data. We're going to hook up our negative wire, or the black one in this case, directly to the resistor as well. And then finally, the positive end, simply to the other part of the LED. So our wiring's done. It's time to put this all together and see what kind of a light we can produce here. I decided to use a bottle as a base as it was sturdy and it will hold my reflecting shade at the top quite well. Put a little hot glue on there and just snapped it right in. Now I'm gonna take the USB wire and light, run it through a hole and get it in there nice and snug. We want this pointing down right through the lens. Then I'm going to glue the wire in place so that the light's not going to bounce around. Alright, our work is now finished. This is the completed project. You know, it's nothing to write home about, but I think it'll really work in a pinch. Let's take a look and see how much light we can really pull out of it. I'll go ahead and plug the USB cable into a sleep moded laptop, and boom. The illumination is actually a hell of a lot more than I expected. You can now use this thing to find DVDs laying around your room late at night, specifically my favorite. Or maybe you just need to get a better look at your keyboard. So there you go, pulling some trash items from around the house and putting them together to make a lamp. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching Scientific Tuesdays, and don't be a stranger. Make sure you let us know in the comments what you want to see next. Liquid nitrogen, edible couch cushions, how to become invisible. It's all fair game at Scientific Tuesdays. If you want to see some of the other stuff we've done, go ahead and click this little box right here. It'll take you to a playlist full of every episode. Besides that, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor this week, Thrillist. Now, if you've never heard of them, let me tell you a little bit about it. You know you have that friend that shows you the coolest new bands before anyone else has heard of them? Well, Thrillist is sort of like that, but for cool things to do and places to go. Thrillist sifts through all the junk and brings you the absolute best in your area so that you don't have to. Want to know about a Star Wars burlesque show or a new restaurant with a sushi robot? then go sign up for Thrillist. Go to Thrillist.com slash ST, hit it up, check it out. You're gonna love it. Hey, it's Michael from Vsauce and you just got scienced on a Tuesday.